I'm Sarah Weiss. I'm a sophomore biological sciences major in the Honors Tutorial College. I worked with um, Drs. Jürgen Ott and David Meyer at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. Um, we worked on the isotope ratio of carbon monoxide in the Large Magellanic Cloud. Basically, you have these giant molecular clouds of gas and dust um, in between the stars, and these eventually form stars. The idea of the project was to determine the physical conditions of these clouds, like the temperature, the mass, um, all these sorts of things, whether they're about to form uh, stars or not, just by looking at this isotope ratio. You can't see the vast majority of the components of this cloud, like hydrogen and dust. You can't see that using a telescope. So you're stuck relying on carbon monoxide, which is a pretty faint molecule to look at. I had a freshman physics seminar my first quarter here. Um, basically it was all the freshman physics students or first year physics students had to read a physics-y type book and discuss it with the department chair, um, Joe Shields. He made a special point of coming up to all the HTC students and giving us opportunities. You know, Do you have something for the summer lined up yet? Do you have an internship? Would you like an internship? And I told him, well, I don't really have anything, but I'm looking for something close to home. I live in Albuquerque. I figured it would be kind of difficult to find a, a job near Albuquerque, you know, that's in the field. And I really wanted to do something in astronomy, astrobiochemistry, astrobiology, something like that. And he knew of two scientists at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Socorro, which is about an hour and a half from my house. So he um, wrote letters of recommendation for me, gave me their email addresses, and really helped me get in touch. Um, about January, I found out that I'd been accepted to this research experience for undergraduates, kind of summer student internship type of program. And that was really cool, just that a professor would actively seek you out and give you opportunities like that just because you're in the HTC. Last year I was a double major in astrophysics and molecular biology, both in the HTC. And I kind of knew that I had to pick between them, you know, choose one or the other. Because 20 hours a quarter is just not that fun. Um, and I wanted to graduate on time, and I'd have to choose sooner or later for a career anyway. I, I wanted an internship in kind of astrobiology, astrochemistry, to explore how I could combine the two in a way that actually made sense that I wanted to do. And I'd done some uh, biophysics the, the previous quarter and didn't like that. So I was looking for an internship that would kind of help me figure out what I wanted to do with my life and with my career. Um, the internship showed me that I want to do biology, um, yeah, it was an astronomy internship, but it really helped me see, you know, this is what you would expect to do as an astrophysicist from day to day. Well, I did some research two summers ago in kind of biological engineering, making organisms produce proteins or that sort of thing, um, engineering them genetically to accomplish a medical goal. Um, I'm looking to continue that kind of research, learn how to do that as a research professor, maybe in industry. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm completely forgetting about astronomy or physics. I'm kind of going to do that on the side, get a minor in physics and a minor in astronomy. The tutorials are the main thing. Having a professor that you can work with one-on-one, -on -one, um, like doing their research with them, learning the techniques that you'll actually use someday, is really great. I mean, microbiology class, they teach you techniques that are sort of outdated a little bit and stuff that's more used in medicine rather than applied research. So getting to learn the techniques you'll be using um, and how to apply them, as well as the big theory, like how to think about a problem, is really invaluable. If professors approach you about research experience, like working in their lab or something like that, take it. Take them up on it. You might not think you have time in your schedule, but they're generally pretty flexible about working you in. But it's a really great experience in just getting involved in the professional community. You can get papers, presentations, all sorts of experience as well as getting out there in the professional world just by taking your professor up on the offer to work in their lab. And it's not going to be stuff like washing test tubes or that sort of thing. They're, they're good about giving you legitimate, valuable work to do.